Dermatology definition. Skin structure, anatomy, histology, physiological functions, primary and secondary lesions, methods of investigation of skin disease. Lecture 1. Skin is the largest organ of the body. Skin thickness variable normally 2-3 millimeters. There are many functions of the skin. Protection, body temperature regulation, sensation, provides information outside of the body. Structure of the skin uh, has, skin has three layers. Epidermis, dermis, and subcutaneous. Epidermis uh, layer include um, here on this picture we can see uh, we can see epidermis layer here derm and yellow one subcutaneous tissue. Uh, skin appendages, sweet glands, hair follicles sebaceous glands and nails. Epidermis layer. Uh, there are many different cells in epidermis layer. Keratinocyte, site, melanin site, Langergan cells, Merkin cells. And each cell has own function. Here we can see uh, five layers of epidermis stratum corneum it is the surface layer then stratum lucidum then stratum granulosum spinosum uh, more thick layer and stratum basale these three layer together uh, is multi layer stratum corneum and stratum lucidum different from these three layers um, ha uh, haven't any nuclei. In this picture we can see stratum basale um, considered from one layer of uh, cell, cells then stratum spinosum with the more thin layers layer, um, uh, consid um, considered from the uh, five uh, uh, five uh, um, line of cells and stratum granulosum. This nuclear inside cells. That's why the developing and um, um, cells uh, from the multi layer multiplied and uh, grow up on the surface of the skin and move uh, old cells uh, to the new one cells. Uh, in this picture we can see melanin sites, uh, taxial cells, dendritic cells, stratum basale and stratum spinosum together multi a uh, layer of epidermis uh, more surface, granulosum, lucidum, and uh, In this picture, we can see the epidermis layer too. Epidermis layer touch, uh, basal layer touch to derm. Here, uh, one more stratum corium, stratum lucidum, stratum granulosum stratum spinosum and stratum basale. Dermis considered from two layers, patellar dermis and reticular. Patellar dermis is, a, um, is the uh, uppermost layer of the dermis composed of collagen bundles, delicate branching elastic fibers, numerous fibrous sites, abundant ground substance. A highly developed microcirculation composed of arterioles, capillaries, and venules. It is superior surface is a univenous which form the characteristic fingerprint of the finger. This layer provides the epidermis with nutrients. Pain and touch receptors are found. 
reticular dermis, dense connective tissue, has thick bundles of collagen and coarse elastic fibers. Uh, proportionally, uh, there are um, fewer fibrocytes and blood vessels and less ground substance compared to papillar dermis. Strong, uh, strongest layer of the dermis uh, gives the area strange and uh, contains sweat, sebaceous glands, and pressure receptors. Leather is made of this. Hypodermis consists of loose connective tissue which helps in sliding the skin over the deep structure. Consists of layer of uh, fat according to the nutritional status of the person. Uh, vessels in skin, arteries and veins. Arteries uh, consist from the two plexus, one of the uh, junction of papillar and reticular uh, lower and another a uh, junction of dermis and hypodermis, cutaneous plexus. And veins. Uh, here we can see the same cut of skin and uh, this is hair, um, one of the appendages of the skin, sebaceous glands and um, um, sebaceous glands and sweat glands. Uh -huh. uh, there are um, sweat glands. Uh, Appendages of the skin, so sebaceous glands, hair, hair may be terminal and vellus, nails, sweat glands, sweat glands um, uh, divided to, into the two types of glands, eccrine and apocrine glands. Eccrine glands or miracle eccrine glands are found at virtually all sides on the human body. They produce clear liquid uh, perspiration, consists of water, salts, and urea. Apocrine glands are found in axillary and genital. Eccrine sweet glands not found in mucosa, moisty found in axilla, palms, soles, and forehead. The uh, composition of the sweat is the same as plasma. It contains the same electrolytes in less concentration. These glands are important in temperature regulation of the body. Apocrine glands found mainly, mainly in anogenital area, axilla, areola, external ear canal, and yellow elites. They enlarge in puberty and become uh, functionally active. They receive um, adrenergic innervation. In this picture now we can see uh, the, uh, the scam of cut of the skin. Uh, there is from uh, consists from patellar and reticular lower and here we can see sebaceous glands uh, then hair shafts and uh, patsini nerve ending then uh, we can see the apocrine acrine sweet glands apocrine gland as you see touch to hair follicle and together with hair shaft goes up and eccrine sweat um, glands direct goes up and open on this uh, from the surface of the skin. Uh, inflammation of the skin may be uh, acute, chronic and uh, subacute. Acute type exudation chronic proliferation produced and subacute alteration. Uh, proliferation is the uh, multiplication of tissue elements. And this is from uh, histological course. 
Uh, for example, this is uh, the uh, main process uh, localized on the take place in the skin. For example, hyperkeratosis, parakeratosis, acanthosis, granulosis. Uh, for example, what means hyperkeratosis? The thickening of the horny layer or corneum layer without changes in the structure of the cells. Parakeratosis, uh, the um, presence in the horny layer, horny or uh, corneum layer of the epidermis of cells with stained rod-shaped nuclei, the, um, nuclei. the uh, granular and uh, clear layer are absent in such cases. Acanthosis uh, is um, uh, the process localized in the um, epidermis layer too. This is the thickness or um, uh, proliferation of the uh, prickly cells layer and um, granulosis is a thickening of granular layer of epidermis. Alteration, uh, alteration, uh, dystrophy, and necrosis of the tissue element. Acantalysis. Acantalysis, the process um, localized uh, uh, in the um, uh, stratum spinosum. And um, acantalysis is melting intercellular epithelial bridges. The uh, impairment of firm uh, connection between epithelial cells as uh, the result that cells are easily separated and um, form more or less large layers of the discriminating epidermis. Such process is observed in Tentibus. Tentibus this is disease. Uh, um, and a nucleolus reaction is degeneration of the primary morphological lesions. Uh, there are several primary morphological uh, lesions, and this is like uh, alphabet for all um, dermatology groups, all diseases. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And there are eight elements, uh, primary morphological elements. Five elements belong to non-cavity, and just three relate to cavity. Uh, non-cavity uh, or um, um, without any space, it is spot, then papula, tubercle, nodule, urtica. And uh, um, uh, cavit uh, cavitary or with space and um, exudative elements. This is el infiltrative elements and these three exudative elements. So take place some exudate. Exudate may be serous, may be blood serous, may be pus. Vesicle, bulla, and pustula belong to cavitary or uh, exudative elements. So then we start from macules or spot. Macules circumscribe the discoloration of the skin without elevation or depression of less than one centimeter in diameter. Has a flat surface. Um, not arise and evaluated from the skin surface. And uh, for example, vitiligo, prickles, it is uh, macules. And patch, patch a little bigger if the discoloration is larger than one centimeter, this macula named patch. In this picture, we can see small like freckles and macules and here a little bigger no, named patch more than one centimeters in the diameter and a macula uh, appear from the surface layer of epidermis that's why doesn't evaluate it or arise from the skin surface here we can see it not evaluated not er er this is macula. 
spot. There are many different diseases characterized by uh, the same picture. Macula may be different color from white till dark color. This is a classification of macula. Macula may be vascular, hemorrhagic, pigmental spots. Pigmental spots may be hyperpigmental or hypopigmental. Hyperpigmental, for example, uh, congenital maybe. Uh, maybe you see the congenital spots. And maybe acquired. Acquired for uh, congenital maybe nevus. Uh, acquired maybe sunburn or, or plasma. Hypopigmental spots may be congenital and acquired too. Congenital hypopigmental spots, for example, albinism. Acquired hypopigmental spots, vitiligo. And acquired may be leucoderm too. Uh, leucoderm, uh, we will study these signs. In syphilis, we can meet this symptom. Hemorrhagic. Hemorrhagic may be vasculitis, uh, for example, petechia or purpura, uh, ecchymosis or uh, vibex. Uh, vascular may be inflammatory and non-inflammatory. Inflammatory, for example, erythema or roseola. Roseola, uh, size of this uh, spot, like nails and erythema like hands. Uh, roseola, uh, we can meet this uh, roseola in secondary syphilis, scarlet fever or misless. Non-inflammatory we can see in teleangioectasia and um, uh, emotional spots. lesion in size of pinpoint. Uh, papula, pimple. Uh, this is plaque. Plaque more than one centimeters or uh, confluence of papules. Uh, papula circumscribed solid elevations of skin uh, of less than one centimeters in the skin. In acne, words, we can meet pap papula. Classification of papula may be different too. Papula miliary, like thin, uh, um, the, um, uh, like one dots, it is very small papula. Numular, like coins, numus, it is uh, in Latin language, mm, uh, is coins, numus, numular, like coins or like nail size. Uh, papula, uh, it is uh, appear from the uh, between epidermis and derm. Uh, okay, that's why maybe dermal too, and um, uh, papula. Uh, maybe epidermal, dermal, and epidermal, dermal. Epidermal, for example, word. A dermal in syphilis, we can see. And epidermal, dermal, uh, in, in case of lichen planus uh, and psoriasis. Papula may be inflammatory and not in, non-inflammatory. Non uh, inflammation of uh, papula. Uh, for example, hyperkeratosis, parakeratosis, and uh, we can see this process, pat uh, patogen pathogenetic process in several diseases. For example, neurodermatitis, uh, psoriasis, uh, mycosis, hyper uh, hyperkeratotic, uh, psoriasis, lichen planus, eczema.
neurodermatitis and um, uh, other so non-inflammatory process we can see in a part keratosis hyperkeratosis wart and uh, callosity uh, here uh, on this picture we can see the papula so papula a little arise from the skin surface why because here from the uh, between epidermis and derm layer then element deeper then element bigger this is papula papula this is solid lateral like elevation in diameter of two centimeters or larger it is formed by ex extension or confluence of papules or nodules this is plaque the plaque diameter more than one centimeter this is this is plaque psoriasis Urtica, this is the next element. Now, urtica, mm, slightly elevation, elevated from the surrounding skin, round or oval in shape, no in, uh, involvement of the epidermis and no squamps on top. Extra uh, rosated plasma changes and disappear in hours like ephemeral reaction appear and disappear without any treatment but can live stay and last uh, weekly uh, several weeks uh, um, uh, this reaction edematose reaction appear and seen in areas of loose tissue like the well uh, evanescent, round or irregular, often flat top elevation of skin with a pale red color arising from edema in the super superficial dermis may vary from uh, vary from two three millimeters to ten uh, centimeters or more in diameter with round and um, uh, arcuate configurations should be distinguished from angioedema a massive edema involving the entire dermis and subcutaneous tissue this is well or urtica well, this process uh, we can see when our skin touch to middle middle flower and this green uh, grows in forest and in our childhood maybe um, you met with this needle and uh, it's a general term for a mass design of uh, this is tumor you see actually this this is needle and look like abscess this, uh, on this picture we can see many uh, nodules in case of lepra we can see and tuberculum tuberculum uh, may be hard or soft uh, may be infiltration or proliferation just uh, um, may be uh, two form of tuberculum infiltration and proliferation and infectious granuloma and in many cases uh, many diseases we can see the same nodule uh, tuberculum tuberculum appear from the derm and size of size to um, nuts primary skin lesions um, and, uh, exudative uh, lesions vesicles bulla and pustula vesicles and bulla it is a um, little bladder 
are circumscribed epidermal elevations uh, less than one centimeter in size and containing clear fluid. Bulla a little bigger, more than one centimeter in diameter, containing, uh, containing clear uh, serous or uh, serous purulent fluid. Uh, visible fluid filled cavity or elevation less than uh, one centimeter or, or zero point five centimeters in diameter, mostly filled with a transparent fluid. Lesions can be round or unblockaded. Uh, they can arise de novo or on top of a pap macula. Visical. Uh, visical is circumscribed. In herpes disease, we can see visical. And in exam, we can see status spon spongiosis visical. Visical is circumscribed fluid filled lesion less than one centimeter in diameter that is usually elevated above the surrounding skin, may be described as a solitary, grouped, uh, umbilicated, um, dyshydrotic, spongiotic, multilocular, or this and we can see group of vesicles gathered on the one area here gases primary morphological elements in the gases bulla larger than 1 cm in diameter uh, unilocular and due to the loss of intracellular attachment or loss of desmosomes. In case of pemphibus vulgaris, we can meet bulla uh, or subepidermal detachment in case of dermatitis has blister bulla acantholysis. Uh, the process uh, takes place uh, in pemphibus disease. Uh, blister dermatosis, um, for example, uh, through pemphibus during dermatitis, erythema exudativum, and other disease. And in uh, case of this um, disease, uh, blister or bulla take place. Circumscribed fluid filled lesion greater than one centimeter in diameter may uh, attain diameters of several centimeters and are described as pens or flat. Uh, this bulla, sub bulla may be sub epidermis. Here, uh, in case of uh, pemphibus disease, uh, the same picture can take place and lyle. This is bulla, this is just element you can see about diagnosis and about this is just element this is pustulum circumscribed raised cavity in epidermis containing pus so all elements with pus named pustula it can directly arise as a pustula or can develop on top of papule or vesicle in case of attachment uh, secondary in infections uh, for example in varicella uh, vesicle becomes a pustula two types of pustules we can see follicular and non-follicular pustula pustula uh, can be flexena pustula uh, for example staphylococcal integrated disease and um, Pustul, a discrete elevated vesicle or bulla of skin, usually small, containing purulent exudate, composed of inflammatory leukocytes, pus with or without cellular debris, may be superficial, deep seeded, follicular, grouped, and may arise secondary from a here we can see pus inside cavity of uh, pustula. Uh, this is follicular. Non-follicular when the same 
process locales on the glabrous skin, not uh, uh, affect the hair follicles, for example. Follicular pustula, because inside of each pustula we can see hair. That's why this is follicular shape. Follicular shape of pustula. Very often we can see the same picture after um, uh, epilation, laser epilation, or uh, Secondary morphological elements, uh, it is uh, these elements and lesions appear after primary elements. Secondary lesions are the result of the evolution of primary morphological elements. For example, pigmentation, like spots, may be after burning, appear the white color spots. These spots doesn't appear uh, primary and first of all on the uh, skin, appear as a result of the burning, maybe dark uh, hyperpigmentation or hypopigmentation. Scale for squama, crust, fissura, excoriation, erosion, ulcer, scar, lichenification, vegetation, all these elements belong to secondary morphological level. Erosion. On this picture we can see erosion. Or sore. This sore, uh, more surface, that's why named erosion. Erosion is superficial denudation of the skin. Usually in, uh, implying the loss of epidermis, so open sore, but superficial. Um, yes. uh, ulcer, uh, more deeper process, tissue loss to dermis or subcutaneous tissue. Ulcer heals very slowly and leaves scar because this is deeper process. Can be caused by exogenous like burning and freezing. A vascular compromise, arteriosclerosis, varicose veins, and pressure, the pubitus ulcer. These ulcers we can see in many cases when a patient long time live on the ulcer. Here we can see more deeper process till dermis. Ulcer loss of skin tissue or uh, substance from the surface downward leaving and um, uncovered and then uh, added a wound that is slow to heal. Here we can see the same ulcer. Of course, after this process, a lichenification. A lichenification on this picture, we can see this process. Lichenification a thickening of the skin surface and an increase of skin markings, usually seen with chronic coalescence of papular lesions, especially atopic eczema or neurodermatitis or atopic dermatitis, we can see the same picture. So skin uh, gets more thickened and rough. Vegetation. Vegetating is a uh, largely growing proliferating process, usually with elevated or ex um, exophytic features. Vegetation uh, in many cases appear um, in the big folder and in, uh, very often appear in intergluteal gluteal cleft. Intergluteal cleft. This is, this is vegetation. Mm. 
fissura, fissura. Uh, we can see this process between um, toys or between fingers. Fissure, a vertical splitting or separation of the skin. Of course, after a more deep fissure, leave scar. Atrophy. Epidermal atrophy or dermal atrophy depend on the uh, deeper of damages. Atrophy usually refers to uh, thinning of the epidermis, leaving an easily wrinkled and or shiny surface. Atrophy may also apply to dermal or uh, subcutaneous tissue with or without changes in the epidermis. Scar, hard plug of dense fibrotic tissue covered by a thin epidermis. Scar may be different. Excoration, uh, excoration scratch mark, often uh, with um, denudation of the skin to form a small ulcer. Exposure of, of the corium by mechanical removal of the epidermis. For example, after itching. Crust, dried surface fluid, often cirrhosis in nature with or without tissue debris. And here we can see. Scale, a thin flake of epithelium. Clinical examination. There are many different uh, clinical signs uh, which we use in dermatology disease. In dermatology uh, disease, uh, inspection, natural daylight. In uh, if um, uh, there is clumps or crust on the lesion, they should be removed first. Palpation, uh, consistency and temperature of the lesion. We can uh, check. A mucosal surface, hair and nails should also be examined in otherwise healthy individuals. Localization of the lesion. A localization may be different and each disease characterized by own localization. By, this local, by, by localization we can uh, diagnose disease and this is very helpful to us. Uh, for example, psoriasis. In case of psoriasis, knee, elbow, sacral region, hairy scalp, lichen planus, uh, hairy scalp involving process. In case of lichen planus, flex surface of acne, genital area, oral mucosa, acne and uh, seborrheic dermatitis in seborrheic, uh, acne and seborrheic dermatitis in seborrheic areas. Contact dermatitis. Uh, contact dermatitis, maybe very spread place involved in this process. When uh, um, take place contact um, the, on the same place can characterized by lesion. Uh, in case of sunburned face, necks, exterior face of hands involved in process, herpes zoster lesions are almost always uh, unilateral. The shapes of the lesion may be solitary, disseminated, diffuse, widespread, herpesiform groups of vesicles, a solitary one lesion, nomular shape of a coin, Numus, uh, name from Latin language, it means coin. Annular ring shape, linear on a line, zostiform band shape, archiform half ring. Here we can see the same shape of lesions. Herpesiform group, zostiform like line group. 
this group different on the different place by group archiform annular like ring polycyclic and linear like here we can see here like line this is dermatoscopy process uh, science dermatoscopy uh, when we press black phenomena in dermatology uh, but for example a candle stain phenomenon auspitz phenomenon kebner phenomenon younger uh, phenomenon nail sign nikolsky phenomenon omnibus phenomenon each this phenomenon we will meet in uh, future days dermatoscopy a direct immunoclearing scan indirect immunoclearing scan lupus band test anti-nuclear antibody, polymerase chain reaction, fat cell reaction, patch test, and tongue smear and other. Uh, for example, what this is the color under the wood lamp in case of pinocatitis, yellow green clearisken under the uh, wood lamp. In case of senior, there is a color golden yellow mm, spot we can see on the scalp under the wood lamp. And in the other, this is dermatosis, infective dermatosis in case of senior catheters under the wood lamps. And in the other diseases. Senior catheters, it is a erythrasma under the wood lamp. This is dermatoscopy. We use this dermatoscopy when we check spots for the benign or malignant process. For example, melanoma characterized specific picture. Uh, we can see the three uh, like uh, like three and dark spots inside of thickened and darkened, three like branching and uh, at periphery and uh, abruptly regular folds. This is characteristic. Patch testing. Tongue test, useful in the diagnosis of certain blistering disorders. Acantolytic cells. Dark ground microscopy. This is the one of examination. And in syphilis disease, we can find Strepanema pallidum under the microscope. We use this dark ground microscopy here. On the dark ground, we can see the fluorescent strepanema pallidum, causative agent of syphilis. Gram saving, we know about gram. There are gram uh, positive and uh, gram bacteria. And Kali or harsh examination. With senior, there is a color hipsy with spaghetti and meatballs. Thank you very much.